Welcome to Rob John's Beer Reviews. Use a 16 ounce tulip glass, frost in the freezer, frost free freezer for 20 minutes. We're doing a 22 ounce bomber, otherwise known as a 22 ounce bottle. Also set that set that for 30 minutes. Today we're doing Jackrabbit Imperia Imperial Russian Stout. 10.0 ABV, 60 IBUs. Malts are pale, ale, pilsner, black, chocolate malt, roasted barley, and flaked oats. Hops is just one hop. Golding. Let's open up this bottle and see what we got, alright? Andrew Harrison, the master brewer of Jack Rabbit Brewing out there in West Sacramento. Listen for the hiss. Perfect hiss there, Andrew. 45 degree angle. Here we go. Should have a half a head to three fingers head here. Let's pour it more aggressively here. It's uh, not giving me much of a hit on this one here. Alright, there we go. Save the rest for later here. The final product looks like here. About half a finger ahead. Let's get a nose on it, shall we, here? Mmm, you can smell the, uh, the dark chocolate and also the coffee. Let's give this baby a taste, alright? Cheers, Rob Johns. <sighs> Double thumbs up. That's really good. I like it. Don't normally have a imperial stout there in the beginning of summer here, but it came out later on in the stores there, so I thought I'd pick one up, alright? Anyway. By the way, the uh, the bottle and date on this is 41018. And you can store uh, in the refrigerator uh, stouts usually maybe three or four months, maybe four months max. Depends on the ABV, I'll call by volume. This is the 10 percent or so. You can start a little longer than a normal uh, in, in, uh, imperial stout, alright? <clears throat> I got frog in my throat. All right. Okay. Let's uh do the first dedication here today. Or toast to. Toast to Andrew Harrison. He's a master brewer out in uh, West Sacramento there, a jackrabbit brain. Uh, Andrew, you make wonderful Imperial Stouts. Looking forward to meeting you very soon, I hope. When the weather cools down, it's a little too hot right now. Anyway, cheers, Andrew. Sip it. Ah, Andrew will give you a double thumbs up, right? Okay, see so who's on the next list here. Next person on the list here, next. All right. Toast to Evie Fisher. She's the taproom manager there. She, uh, she got the, uh, she got me the, uh, ingredients for the, uh, the molten hops for this beer I'm doing today. Anyway, thank you so much, Avi. Looking forward to meeting you too in the near future here once it starts cooling down a little bit less there. Uh, it's about 100 degrees here today. It's going to be going down to 85 tomorrow, Sunday, so be more enjoyable to have some beers there tomorrow on Sunday. Anyway, tough up my gum too. Anyway, cheers, Avi. And sip it. Ah, uh, Evie, I give you a double thumbs up, right? Okay. Let's do the ratings here, shall we, all right? Rate beer, no score. Beer Advocate, 3.98, very good range. Untapped, 3.86, equals about a B plus. Rob John's here. I give it 95 overall, 95 style. I give this baby an A, all right? It has a bottle on date, it has the IBUs, and it has the ABV I'll call by volume. Alright? Cheers myself. Cheers, Rob Johns. Sip it. Yeah. I'm gonna give another double thumbs up. Alright. Slicing in here. By the way, you cannot see through it here. 
Usually stouts and porters you cannot see through it because it's a full body beer. Anyway, let's pour some more wonderful imperial stout into this tulip glass, shall we? Okay. It's almost like a dark, dark, uh, dark brown chocolate here color here. Anyway, that's good enough for right now. I'll pour the rest of it later. I right, still got about a half a finger ahead left. All right. Let's see if we can see any bubbles in here on the top here. I'll turn the camera down here. Add a little bit there. Okay. It's carbonated, but not terribly carbonated, so it has enough, just enough carbonation for the, uh, to enjoy the, this, uh, taste here today of the, uh, stout here. Alright. Anything else going on here? Yeah, uh, go to the, uh, oh, uh, I now have 9,300 views as of this morning, and my new world goal is 10,000 views, so I'm only 700 views short. Hopefully I should hit that by, uh, October 6th, I hope, by my uh, two-year anniversary date here this year. If not, it might be slightly uh, past that there. At least it'll be done, at least I'll get it before Christmas, I hope. Anyway, I didn't burp. I didn't open officially at my mouth, so it's not an official burp. Anyway, back to what I was doing here. Anyway, uh, there's a beer fest uh, next month in Pleasant Hill here on Gregory Lane. Gregory Lane Park there in Gregory Lane off Country Cost Boulevard in Pleasant Hill. It's $40 to get in. And the hours I think is from from 3 to 8 p.m. Uh, it's a uh, there should be about 30 breweries there. Anyway, you can't bring any uh, backpacks or any uh, any containers in there. Just bring yourself in your uh, fold-up chair there so they'll let you have in there. Anyway, so you're going to be have live uh, entertainment there, live uh, live bands there, and also food booths there. All right, I'll be passing out my business cards as usual, and I'll meet you over there. And the day before that, uh, July 20th, is uh, the brews uh, person can bring their uh, homemade brews in and have them judged, and they come in there about almost I think about the same time there. Anyway. Anything else going on here? Uh, let's see here. Yes, um, I think I finally got the uh, the semi website here already for uh, you guys to check out for the uh, the Blues Bruce Festival here in Pleasant Hill here next month. Uh, type in on your internet there, Pleasant Hill Recreation and Park District. Once you click on that. Click on events, and you have to register. The registration is free, all right? So you can, you can be established there, and then you can just uh, use your a credit card or a debit card, whatever there. And once you do that, you can print it out in your printer there, and just bring the uh, your ticket there to, at the event, or you can do it with your iPad or your iPhone there too. You just need to scan it. You just have to have it on a on a brightness on your phone there, so it can scan it. Anyway, that's what I think is pretty cool. Anyway. Uh, like I said before, oh, this is beer review number 141. Alright, number 142, I might do it later, I might do it sooner. Whatever I decide, it's up to me. Anyway. Cheers to Summer Solstice. It happened a few days ago here. Anyway, let's hope it doesn't get too hot for the, uh, the summer here. And enjoy looking to the fall and winter. We should be back to the stouts again here. All right. Toast to YouTube. Thank you so much, YouTube, for letting me do all my beer review videos here. Cheers, YouTube. And check it. We'll see. Uh, double thumbs up to YouTube. All right. Okay. Let's uh, pour the rest of this beer here in here. There we go. It's the last drop of it there. Finally, huh? Look at that. Really dark there. You can really taste the coffee and the cho dark chocolate in here and the dark fruit. Really cool. And by the way, I don't think I mentioned it. Uh, 
You can get this at Bedmo, Walnut Creek and North Main Street there, across the street from uh, the Walnut Creek Car Wash. You can pick up these. Uh, you can pick this pick this bottle up here for nine ninety nine for a twenty two ounce bottle. All right, and they have about about ten more bottles left here. All right, I highly recommend this beer here. Uh, when you go in there, ask for a for a Janet Larson if she's not there, and so and anybody else can help you there. Anyway, tell them that Rob John's beer reviews uh, from YouTube uh, sent you there, and they'll hook you up. All right, pretty cool, huh? Anyway, that's why the cute little jackrabbit there, huh? Anyway, anything else going on here? I think that's about it. I think I can be uh. Enjoy the rest of this beer here out in the porch. It's sort of hot there, but I might stay inside now today. It all depends here. Anyway, last uh, chug of the day here. Check it. Uh, double thumbs up. All right. I guess it's about head out, head up time to head out here. I don't really want to, but I have no choice. You know, my magic words are in all my videos, specials, screw ups, top ten videos, uh, beer festivals, beer events, whatever. It's time for Frosted Cola One. Double hands this time. Out. And don't forget to sip it, and sometimes chug it. All right. I'm gonna decide to. Last toast of the evening. Check it, Rob. Check it. Yeah. Gotta go now. Bye bye. Check it. Wussies.